Bismillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah My beautiful people Assalamualaikum warahmatullah Al-Islam is really a beautiful religion And I don't say that emptily It is a practical, human, realistic And a totally comprehensive religion It's a set of tools That if we apply them intelligently and emotionally There is no telling to the amount of goodness that mankind will receive after all when you buy a set of television or a washing machine or a car or anything it always comes with a manual the manual tells you how to use that device and the closer you are to following the manual the more you will gain out of that device al-islam is not different than that life is the device here and the manual is al-quran and al-sunnah once you know how to derive the rulings from Al-Quran and As-Sunnah, life becomes a cinch, really becomes a totally easy. In my experience working with couples, I have come to find a common denominator between Muslims, where husbands go wrong and where wives go wrong. Today, I will talk about the husbands who abuse their wives and usually it leads to divorce and leads to a lot of headaches and people don't understand their rights and their obligations and we get lost in that havoc. Al-Islam has come as Rasulullah has summarized on his deathbed that Al-Islam came to preserve the relationship between man and his God Allah by doing the act of Salat. As Salat is the covenant between you and Allah and on the day of Qiyamah when we go back to Allah if as-salat is accepted, the rest of your action will be accepted because as-salat is the ambassador of your actions. You can donate great, you can be good, you can blah 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 this, blah 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 that, but if your salat is sick, the rest of your actions will be sick. And then Rasulullah mentioned وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ The Arabs back then had slaves. And then Rasulullah was pinpointing to the people to extremely care for their slaves. Because usually slaves are totally oppressed and degraded and insulted and all this and that. Al Islam came to stop man from doing that. And also at the same time, Al Islam has a strongly, strongly, strongly warned man not to abuse women. The education of Muslims today, and I have witnessed this, as soon as they get married, they sign a covenant, the woman must obey the man, like she must become, that's it, she loses her personality. This is absolutely rubbish. Or they bring in certain things, your husband is your Jannah and your Nar. If you obey him, you go to Jannah, and if you disobey him, you go to hellfire. And this has created women with no personality at all and has turned the husbands into a tyrant. Some husbands don't give keys to the house to the, their wives. They don't share bank accounts with them. And they, the woman doesn't even know how much her husband has in the bank. I know personally people where their wives don't even know how much her husband earns or where he works sometimes I, I wonder how these people got the rubbish thinking in the mind anyway today I want to discuss a couple issues with you about women what Rasulullah sallallahu says in Al-Bukhari and Muslim i.e. you Muslim man what is a woman to you she is not just a naked body in your bed to produce babies and then after the babies are born, you call them my children and she becomes the slave to your children. It made my heart bleed not long ago where one of the sisters wrote and she said, the father abuses the children and it's no big problem. But I, their mother, when sometimes I make a mistake, which is normal human, and then he will uh, make me have it, yell at me, get mad at me. And he doesn't trust me with his children. What kind of a monster is this man? These are not his children. This is their children children. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said as reported in Al-Tirmidhi and this hadith is also authentic by Sheikh Nasr din al-Albani ali rahmatullah that our mother Aisha radiallahu anha reports that some women complained to Rasulullah that their man insults and beat them up. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa calls as-sahaba al-amru jami' i.e. he called the sahaba to the masjid at a time where there was nothing going on i.e. no salat nothing the people come and then he said sallallahu alayhi wa I've heard that some of you beat their wives and then he said khayrukum khayrukum li ahlihi wa ana khayrukum li ahli 
i.e. the best of you, the goodest of you, the most prominent of you, the most honorable of you are those who treat their wives accordingly very well. And I am the best of you. And this is why I am the best to my wives. There is no point for you, my brother, to have a long beard and to be good in the community. And at home you are a tyrant. You don't even know how to respect a wife that Allah has created as a miracle to you as a sign. There is no point in being a very Gentile person out there. Always on time to the Salat and at home you have no respect for this woman. In my eyes you might be a good person but in the eyes of Allah you are pure evil. Because Allah says if you want to be good in the community you have to treat women. And here is why the reason because at home the man is him. He is being himself, no pressure. He is in his own kingdom. He does what he likes, but what he does at home is his true reality. When he goes out, he puts on a persona. He has another personality of good brother. So as a matter of fact, when he is outside, he is purely a hypocrite at home. That's who he is. In another hadith, of reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu anha that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Allahumma inni uharriju haqq al-da'ifayn al-yateem wal-mar'a and this hadith is reported by Ahmed and authenticated by Imam al-Nawawi and also uh, by Sheikh Nasr al albani who classified it as an authentic hadith i.e. Allahumma ya Allah I complain to you and on the day of Qiyamah I will stand face to face with anyone who abuses the two weak, the orphans and the woman. And he didn't say the wife here. And this includes your daughter, your auntie, your sister. Because a woman is not weak in the sense of weakness. Like a man is weak, a wuss. No, the woman is weak because she is emotional. Women does, don't like confrontations. Women are a Gentile sex that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah says in the Quran, لتسكنوا إليها, so that we find serene and peace with her. Women are, a smile from a woman can tell a lot to a man. And on the day of al qiyamah when you come and you face Allah with a miserable record that you have abused your woman, then I don't really want to be in your place, my dear brothers and sisters. Let not the wrong education that you got tells you any different. Al-Islam did not come here to abuse women. I repeat it and I've said it before. We cannot tell the non-Muslims that Islam came to liberate women. Al-Islam came to bring pride to women. Al-Islam came to honor women and then as soon as one of them embraced Islam we turn into a tyrant. We tell her your obedience, you must obey me, you must do what I want. You are just here for me and this, this, this for me. Where is all that honor? Where is that freedom? Where is the liberation that we spoke about a while ago? We are hypocrites when it comes to talking about Islam and implementing Islam. Let me tell you my sisters about your right in Islam, in this beautiful religion. When you marry a husband, when a woman, and this is a consensus between the scholars of Islam, when a woman gets married to a man, it is not her duty to clean the house. It is not her responsibility and it's not her duty to cook for him. It is not her duty nor is her responsibility to take care of the kids. It is not her duty nor her responsibility to ensure that the house looks good and his clothes are taken care of and all that nonsense. It is not her responsibility. In Al-Islam, if a woman gets a pile of books and puts a leg on top of the other leg and spends all her day reading, she is not doing anything haram, not at all. The husband must provide even in the books of fiqh, subhanallah. They said when the woman doesn't cook, it is the duty of the man to go outside and bring home cooked food and she can eat with it without any remorse, nothing. It is his duty to bring people to clean the house. It is his duty to bring people to take care of the house. So what's the job of the women? The job of the woman is that she provides calmness and serenity. My sisters know that when you do what you do at home, cleaning and cooking and taking care, this is an act of goodness from you. The man has no right to ask that of you. The man has no right to ask that of you. This is Islam. 
This is, yes, Islam came to liberate the women, and I can see it. What I hear from different couples, really, some men treat their women as what? At almost as a prostitute. He just needs her for the bad. What kind of, what kind of life is this? Is this how Rasulullah treated women? Why are we being a hypocrite? We tell the world something about women and we act differently. Look at the Western world today when they look at the world of Muslims. This man in Saudi Arabia has brought a working woman from the Philippines and he flirts with her and commits haram, touching her and molesting her. And these people, when they come and work there, they have no other choice. They are there to make a living. And Saudi Arabia is a monster of a place when it comes to women. I really feel sorry for women in that land. The woman, what she did, she put her phone and she recorded an event, like probably 30, uh, one minute. And then she sent it and she puts it on the internet. His face is not clear, but she showed the, the evil of what her husband, you know what the husband did? The girl was in the kitchen. She is wearing a normal clothing and just had something on top of her head. She is not Muslim or she is Muslim, Allah knows, but she was not in the proper Islamic dress or how the man should be. The man molests her, stands from behind her and molests her back. And then what he does, he starts caressing her vagina from on top of her dress. You know what the Islamic law said in Saudi Arabia? They ordered the woman who took, who took this video 80 lashes and a fine. This is not Islam. This is not why Al Islam came that a man would bring into his home what would ruin his life. My brothers and sisters, sisters, know your rights. I see some women completely depersonified. They have lost their personality. They don't know who they are anymore. Wallahi al-Azim, they are zombies. It's just they are Muslim zombies. And the man is a tyrant. The woman is here. What wrong culture is this that teaches a man that the woman is his slave? My brothers, fear Allah in these women as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. Watch out, take care of these women. Because women, yes, Allah has given us authority over them by the person and work and things like that. But you know what? Allah wa ta'ala will break the back of every man who oppresses a woman. May he cursed by the curse of Allah any man who degrades a woman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala break the back of any man who takes Islam as a means of oppression when Islam came to liberate a woman. May Allah break the back of any man who uses Al-Quran and a Sunnah to his ends to oppress his sister in Islam. May Allah curse any man that who belittles the woman looks down on her. She doesn't trust me with his children. Who would you trust? She is the mother. Who would you trust? What kind of Islam is this, my brothers and my sisters? Please, for the love of Allah, sisters, stand up for your rights. Enough of this community cultural abuse. Up to when? We're giving the wrong signals to every non-Muslim out there. So much so that if they want to pinpoint on how somebody abuses somebody, they're going to say, look at Muslims, how they abuse women. And they are right to do that. And I can see the evil of culture here. Culture is being used, pushed in the throats of Islam. Fear Allah. Fear Allah. Fear Allah. And if you don't fear Allah, may the curse of Allah be on you. We are sick and tired of people abusing Islam and we are giving enough opportunities to the non-Muslims to attack Islam because of our wrongdoings. Why should a woman, a Muslim woman, be depersonified when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created her free? She is with you in the home to build the family, not to be your slave, not to cook for you, and certainly not to be your prostitute. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that man will wake up and that you sisters must stand up for yourselves. This is again your brother Abdul Salam Abu Hanifa and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us all to the right guidance. If you need help with your issues, marital issues, and you need my help, my telephone number is 078-7640-8800. Three, five. Please, 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 don't let the family abuse, the home abuse, the wives abuse. Go in silence. 
wake up, stand up for your rights. You deserve the freedom, the liberty, and the honor that Islam has truly come to bring to us. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you all and to open our eyes to the right guidance. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. This is your brother Abdus Salam Abu Hanifa.